Hello everyone, welcome to episode of my room game. Yes, please, Melon. Um, we we continued. We we continued finally our attack on Gumball. Gumball got obliterated. There, well, have mercy, my lord. They were newer armies. They were one of their newest armies. So got obliterated. Ah. There we go. Who's next? Using the cover of the now, you could say you could attack these guys now. Now they're so easy targets for you to pick Noble up. One. Yes, but I'm going after Urtring. They come to defend Urtring, they might we come outside, and I don't have to go inside. Honorably. That would be good. So, we hey. shall endure outside their walls. Oh, they yes, Gondo hits me. Has the time shop. come to strike? Alright, let's also check out the summons, if it's being strengthened or weakened. I think there were 1,000 inside, right? Yes. How Your many are inside now? Fall they have more, goddammit. <laughs> They're gaining more men in there than losing it. Alright. So, I'm now gonna take off Fendelund. We shall end this day in and, triumph. be honest, I'm not gonna care how much I lose of my men. My men are superior to theirs, actually. Which is interesting, except that cavalry. The cavalry's pretty good. He's a pretty good trained general. He's also, also the faction leader now. Pretty young for it, but hey. He's a great commander. He's probably their best general left. There's almost no other way. And we can use the Haradrim, which are horrendous guys. But we can use them as pretty much fodder. Pretty much, that's what's gonna happen. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get one of my ramps and open their gates so they can attack from the flank. Or at least do something like that, right? So yeah, see you on the battlefield. Most of us will see the sun set again. But the enemy... Alright, here we are. Now, this is actually a weird settlement. It's a huge settlement, actually. It's a very nice looking settlement, but it's actually weird. That the hill, I am actually on the hill, and the enemy is in the, in the well. Oh god, it's one of those. <laughs> in real life, this would be horrendously to take. You could put your archers here, and well, you could do a lot of damage if you if your enemy passes through there, really. I mean, really, it's one of those elements. Eesh, in real life, this would be a horrendous nightmare. Mm, of course, it's not real life, so it's not that bad. Who's on? Alright, so we have two rams. Two rams that I can actually... The enemy... Oh, my ally comes from over here. So I'm going to put one of my rams here as close as possible. And I'm going to breach this gate. You? Well, before we actually go near that gate, we actually want to check out where the bloody hell are they. So what we can do is we can have our men. Except you. I have almost no range in this army. I just noticed that. <laughs> I don't need range. That's all actually the most... The more infantry I got, the better. So yeah, before we even get near the walls, to be honest, I'm just gonna see where they all are. So let's start a battle. Alright, so they have a lot of men on the wall, which I didn't hope they would have, but still, they got them. Some archer militiamen. Hmm, they can do very well against my infantry. Some guys over here. Alright, and some guys over here as well. With a lot of Haradrim dudes. Alright, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna breach that gate over here and the Haradrim is gonna run it over. They don't have many men on the wall here, which is kind of interesting. You would expect them to have, but of course there's no siege equipment here. Here's the siege equipment. So yeah, it makes sense. Um, so why would they not be on the wall? Their archers at least on the wall, right? Most of their archers are actually here, which is interesting. Uh, the archer, Lebanon Marines. Oh, they have they have Lebanon Marines and Archer mil uh, Militia here. So taking this uh, place is going to be very hard. Right, they have anything on the wall here. They have a few men here, which are Gondor Militiamen. Alright, so what we can do is we can send most of our guys over from here. And what we're going to do is we're going to send you to the gate. And our ladders actually I don't want to move the ladders up here so my ladders let's see if we no we can't put them over there I can try and put my ladders here and just go from here that'd be good but still it's be very long before my guys actually reach that location though it would be good I can hit them from the back from the side over there and from the back and I can't get hit for the moment I can just send them all to the front. I mean, going up to the ladder is going to be suicidal. Although, these guys are only archer militia, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them over from fire here. They'll go around like this, and you can, can obliterate those archer militia. I might just send one guy up here. Hmm, who knows? We'll see. But I don't want to go onto the star territorial guardsmen where those archer militias are because they will kind of obliterate them. I'm pretty sure about that. So yeah, let's speed this up a bit, because taking this, this will take a while. Oh, my ally actually 
attacks. The battering ram is in place. Do nothing. It will not be long before our enemy's well, defenses right. fall. They look pretty good. Oh yeah, they're they're spear throw. They're actually javelin throws. So never mind. They're actually crap. So yeah, they're trying to burn down my shit, which I don't like. And I'm not really care, gonna care much how much I lose here, to be honest, because these guys are becoming sacrificial. Soon my gold units will take over, so yeah. <laughs> they become sacrificial eventually. But they're pretty good, I mean... I've actually started noticing they're pretty good, they're not the best. They can do some damage, right? Right, so there's a lot of militia up here. They're saying a lot of hard armor defenders here as well. So Harald needs to break through fast if they do if they want to help me Our out. Men have reached really. the gate with the battering ram. These guys the ram has done its not work. too much. And now is the time to fight. Yeah. Our siege towers have reached the walls. Harald is coming in. At least Let they're coming. Let try and stand in the way of our might. I'm not gonna go in there. You guys can actually, you know, you know what? You guys stay as close to the wall as possible. Do not get hit by anything. You guys are trying to breach the wall over here, so okay, you guys are almost through. So let's get the infantry all to the front. I actually shouldn't send in my general, probably was a stupid idea. Yeah it is, it's a very stupid idea to send him in forward. So let's get him in the back, he can come in later. Our ladders have reached the walls. May our oh, brave lions strike these cars who hide behind them. Over time. So yeah, they are. The battering ram has done its work, and now we have to kill any of my with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. So they're coming outside. All right, my clan wars will engage with them then, and these guys shall engage with my with my, with my other guys as well. All right, so my 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 uh, towers are actually overrunning their militiamen over here. I believe that's good. There are two towers, there should be enough. There should be enough men pouring forward in order to reach through. My ladders are having fun over here as well. They're almost into the position that they need to be in. They're almost on top of the wall. Go and engage with them now. Same for you. Actually, no, you guys go over here. And engage with their archer militia over here. I'm gonna lose a lot of men, I can already say that, I mean, look at how much enemy we killed, 6%. I wonder how Harad's doing, actually. Harad is... not fighting. Well, no, they're not in sight yet, of course. They have a lot of infantry to deal with. They also got a lot of infantry, so hey. Let's send in these guys in order to press forward together with Harad. Go. Harad is sending everything forward, so they just should overrun it. My infantry is gonna have a... Yeah, very hard time getting through here. They're getting stuck, as you can see. I want them to get inside, really. They'll push their way in, I think. They will just push their way in. But at least they should. These guys are not doing that well against these militiamen. Wow, I expect them to do way better than that, but apparently no. Not really. No, they're getting obliterated because of that. So most of the guys are pushing backwards. They're, they're moving away from the wall. It's interesting, really. It's a very interesting thing because if I'm just taking over the wall like that, it's kind of disappointing. And also weird, in my opinion. But hey, so I have enough cavalry to run down everything that's like with these guys. These guys are going into the wrong location. By the time they arrive here, the infantry body of Harad is gonna have broken through. At least I hope so. Let's tell me they're gonna hold this. If they're gonna hold this, that would be kind of disappointing. We have way more and they're holding off pretty well. Although my most infantry is still not even engaging, so yeah. Like these guys are almost broken through, so as soon as they go down, well, it won't be good for them. I mean, I they will lose these towers to fire for them already. These guys are not broken through yet, dear lord. Clan God, get your ass in here. This will take a while. I just realized this, this will take a very long time, I think. The enemy have lost the walls. Send your troops to take the rest of the settlement. Oh, my clan guard engaging these guys, that's good. Win captures, great. So my clan guard are pushing forward over here as well. That's nice. Let's just look at this one. This is a slaughter fest. 
here. They're almost breaking through here. That's good. Almost inside. These guys are overrunning them. Although massive losses here. That's actually my major losses over here. Alright, you guys should get outside. And engage those guys. That'd be good. I wish to send you guys forward as well. That's a ballista that's firing at me. No wonder I was losing so much men there. It's that freaking ballista. Let's look over here. So we're almost broken through here. Considering the amount of losses we took. It's about time, really. To, wait, we actually, we said almost broken through. We haven't even gotten close to breaking through. What am I saying? Alright, um... My mass infantry body is still doing fine though. So that's good. Um... So I lost a lot of guys here from just archer fire, really. The archers are kind of out of control, I can't do much about them. And my clan guard are not, break are not even scratching them. The 11 marines are holding me back, big time. But I'm pushing back here, I think. I'm winning against their gu territorial guardsmen here, I think. Yeah, I am winning against them. I got some free damage up though, so it doesn't really that good. Hmm. Yeah, I am winning this, but it will be horrendous losses. Oh well. As soon as I break through here, that would be good. Although I just got my men reinforcing from over here, so that took a lot of their uh, well, life out. A lot of them died off from that. Alright, so one of you guys need to go up here and hit these archers, because they're doing so much damage to me. Here they are. These 60 guys, they're not breaking. I'm sure we have the general, he will kill a lot of them soon. He's not gonna die in them soon as well. These these militiamen are gonna hold me back, aren't they? These few militiamen over here. They're gonna survive. Where are they? How many of them are left? Good question. I think they're all gone. Right? They seem to be all gone, so that's something. So we took these walls out. It's about time as well. Let's check this side out. The other flank. It's like Harad's side. Harad, I mean, really, they're about to breach through, right? I mean, really. They have even the oldest archers they can send them away. I mean, they should breach through. I mean, they don't have that much men left. I'm saying in every infantry they had got here, so hey. Mm. They're firing some arrows, something at least. So they have 31% crits. My infantry body here is about to break through. I hope so. They have a lot of guys. They have a lot of guys here still. Lebanon Gosman. Not that great, but still. Are these guys about to stop firing at me or do they keep firing? Yeah, they're gonna keep firing, of course. Oh, the archers over here, are they not? This fight is gonna be very long. It's gonna be a slaughter. I'm getting fired up by who here? I'm losing this because of the fire. I'm getting taken. Who's firing at me? Oh, these guys are firing at me. Perfect! I'm taking horrendous damage because of these guys. And they're almost broken. Perfect. Alright, so I don't... Uh, can I win this fight? Good question. Now, they would char if, they could ch if they would charge it to me, this would be horrendous for me. Go against those guys and you as well. All of you go after those. It's a rod about to breach through, true, because that's actually wasn't going to be my. I think I was counting on. Harad's breaching through, so that's good. Oh yeah, they've broken through. They've broken through now. <laughs> yeah, they did. Perfect. Perfect. Now, as long as this guy is not in combat, I cannot lose because this guy will never break because he'll never come there. If you look from over here, if you would see that, that would be horrendous to watch at. <laughs> so much dead bodies, so much men engaging. So yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to breach through. I win this in sheer numbers, that's about it. Not winning it because my guys are good, not winning because their guys are weak. No, I'm just winning this because of sheer number. Go send more forwards over here. We need more men over here. I think my guys just broke. Yeah, my guys just broke here. That's not good. That's not good at all. Go 
Can I rally men? I can. Maybe I can get them back to fight. 84 men, I want them back, really. Let him get back against these guardsmen over here. Victory they come back? Well within our no, they're not back yet, at least. Time our foe will surely see this and lose heart. Oh, come on, really? Right, so they almost broken through here, right? Well, they have broken through, they just have these guys to still worry about. They're reaching through more, though, so they're about to flank this location. That's good. This location I completely lost because of the archers, so about, it's about to be relieved. Can I rail the men again? Hopefully they come back. I don't think they will, though. So I won this battle. I won this battle. That's good. Okay, ballistas firing at me, which I don't like. Right, who's not fighting? Everybody's fighting, so that's not good. The general's not dying, although he's probably losing some of his guys off. Has to. 57 of them are dead. So let's get to speed because, well, not much is happening here, really. Right. How many are fighting here? The enemy are badly bloodied. They have just to check their this men. Box. So a lot of guys are fighting here, not doing a lot. So let's pull one of them back and actually go after these ballista men over here. Would they do too much damage to me? We should also hit those guys from over here. Actually, weird that they got me. Oh, they broke it. Didn't? No, no, they didn't break. No. Our foe fights with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. So yeah, their cavalry is, look how much they killed off with the cavalry, they're just cutting their way through, well, they are very bloody, so I should probably notice right now. So how are they, these guys are breaking, my guys are breaking, really badly, these guys are still broken. Oh well. My lord, our men are in command of the city. So, really, it's gonna be like that, Haras not gonna help me out, they're just gonna take the square. Might as well just retreat them, let them hold the square. Though, so be it. I mean, really. They almost, they almost shaken up from that, really? They're shaken up when they take the square, really. So, this is how much Harad. Oh, actually, no. You just plowed your way through here. What the hell? You just plowed their way through these guys. Although, there's probably a lot. Look how much Harad and Grim have died here, so I'm not really sure they plowed their way through. I'll tell you. This is fun to watch. I mean, if the zombie dies, like I said, I don't care for it. It makes, give me a sec, back, it makes up more guys from my army, it's, you know, more gold units I can, I can pay for. Look how many of them are dead here, really? Are they about to be dead here? Yeah, I think they are. 74, the general hat. I believe, oh yeah, of course, they're trying to get all, all to, the, to the front. They all try to get back to the square, which is interesting, really. Why would they want to get back to the square? How much of their cavalry is alive only? Wow, how much did they... Oh yeah, they tried to run through all my infantry. Of course they lost a lot of them. Of course they did. So yeah. Most of them are kind of... Dead, really. Because they tried to get back to the square. Actually... The decision that they did in order to, you know... So we're not fighting. You're not fighting, you're not fighting, you're not fighting, you're not fighting. And you're not fighting, you go over here. Yeah, they tried to retake the square and actually got them almost killed. Although Harad's gonna be very stupid and gonna abandon the square. Please don't be stupid and abandon the square, thank you. Thank you. Take the square and hold it. So yeah, that's actually obliterate them because they tried to run through my men in order to get to the freaking square. These guys should not lose against the full, uh, full units still. They're just gonna abandon it. My guys are just gonna ban this as well. They're not gonna fight that. Screw that. So yeah, they have a few archers here, which are doing friendly fire. Damn it! Some archer militias over here, which are getting hit by assault and wall bands. And the guardsmen over here, fighting against my guys. Actually, these guys retreated, but the other ones came back. These guys came back, but these guys retreated now. So perfect. At least some of them came back. So yeah, let's get to second speed. Yes, Philoans. Oh, they have a few guys over here, so you guys can f actually just fight that. 
we can continue it but we'll just i mean really how much do they got left 80 percent we'll continue it and just see for the slaughter six m speed i mean we still have to kill all these guys over here which are about to break be broken completely then we need to kill all of these guys, these archer militiamen here, and these territorial guardsmen, which are almost on their own, so they don't do much anymore. Then there's the archer militia here, which is getting overrun by the southern warbat. Hey, square is mine. The square is actually hard out, so hey. So they, the all oh, the friends are trying to retake the square like this. Good luck. I mean, really, they're not gonna get far. The general here is trying to get to pushing his way to the front here, which is probably not going to get through. On his own, I think. Yeah, he is. So yeah, we're, we're not just going to watch it. The bliss is abandoned. The guardsmen here are about to die. That's good. And yeah, as soon as those guardsmen die, my infantry will just pour in and it will be the end of it. As those few men they got will not hold for long, at least anymore. Over here, these guys will not hold. Yes, let's end the battle here. Victory is ours. A victory both righteous and well deserved. It cannot be said otherwise. Yeah, massive, massive loss. But hey, it doesn't matter for me. No, it doesn't at all. To be honest, I just recombine these guys and send them forward. And use them as fodder, really. Because my gold units will soon take over. Although I'm probably saying my gold units will soon take over, it's not yet ready. My gold units production is getting up there, yes. But my gold units production isn't perfect yet because they still have to travel, they still have to go, they still need to be made, they need to be traveled. It's still not the best. I'm making them pretty good right now, but not enough to support my entire army with them. Not yet, at least. Sadly not, I do want that soon. Oh well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment and a like if you did, and. Subscribe if you want to see more videos, and see you next time. See you then. Bye.